Greetings, friends, and welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Sean. The website can be found at www.scriptureandprophecy.com. Well, I just wanted to do a short video, a short audio uh, recording of the devotional that I sent out over the past weekend. And so if you are on the email list, you would have received this in your email on Saturday morning. The devotional was entitled, The Kingdom is Entered Through Much Tribulation. And so I just kind of wanted to do a short video audio recording uh, of this devotional and share it with all of you in case you're not on the uh, email list, which by the way, if you're watching the video, I just highly recommend that you get on the email list right here. You can put your name in, your email address, uh, and then you get these devotionals. And it also gives you access to those six or seven beginners Hebrew, uh, Hebrew for beginners uh, training videos for free as well. So you might want to consider uh, jumping in on that. And we, uh, the other reason for the email list is simply this. We are living in an age in a world where uh, people like me are getting censored every day, getting kicked off of all the platforms on a regular basis. And so it's more important than ever to, uh, for there be a, uh, an option for me to uh, reach out to you and uh, let you know where you can find my content in the event that something like that should happen. These devotionals are up at scriptureandprophecy.com. You just click on devotional here at the top. All right, let me read this to you real quick. This will be a very, very short uh, video and podcast. The kingdom is entered through much tribulation. The modern day Christian, at least in the Western world, has been sold a lie. This lie suggests that if you are a believer, then you will not face tribulation and the trials of this life. You will be spared of all of this, or you will disappear from the earth before anything bad happens. I wonder how many Christians throughout history and in other places around the world would feel about such nonsense. The Bible teaches the exact opposite of this view. In fact, the Bible warns us that there is a price to pay for following Christ. And that if you dare follow him wholeheartedly, you will reap trouble, persecution, and trials in your life. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. 2 Timothy 3.12 Jesus also made this point clear for us. John chapter 16, verse 33 says this, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Our generation is facing a very challenging time right now. And there is a storm coming upon the church all around the world. If you make the mistake of thinking nothing bad could ever happen, or that we won't face challenges or persecution, then you will, then you will not be prepared or able to stand when the trouble is at your doorstep. However, this does not mean we live in fear. We trust God and we take refuge in Him. The point of these trials is to work within us patience and perseverance and our faith. God has a purpose for every trial that He allows into our lives. And He will see us through this storm. James chapter 1, verses 2 through 3 say this, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. We are living in an evil age, and time is short. We must take our focus off ourselves and focus on the kingdom of God. We must focus our efforts on the glorious mission of every Christian, the great calling of every Christian to spread the good news, the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of Jesus Christ. We must do this now while we still can. We must work while it's daylight because soon night comes when no man can work. The gospel of John chapter 9 verse 4 says, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. May we finish this race of faith strong. May we not be ignorant of the times and of the testing of our faith. 
May we strengthen ourselves in the Lord and renew within ourselves a great passion for the gospel of the kingdom to come. Let us share this good news and be partakers in bringing in the greatest harvest the world has ever known. Thank you, my friends, for taking the time to listen to this devotional, and I pray that it's blessed you and spoke to you on some level. If you haven't already picked up the cop- copy of The End of Days, a 30-day devotional, please consider doing so. Thank you to all of you who have went on Amazon and have left positive feedback, a five-star rating, and a kind comment about the book. I poured a lot of work into that over a period of about six months, and uh, so I'm very appreciative of you of those of you who have picked it up. I hope it's blessing you. Peace and grace be with all of you, and until the next time, God bless.